Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be taking a look at the new Kill Team reveal, Shadow Vaults. I've already uploaded the reveal for the new Astra Militarum army set, and the new way to play Warhammer 40k, but now it's time to go through the brand new reveal for the next Kill Team box set, which is Kill Team Shadow Vaults. And this just looks fantastic. The rumours were true. It's Necrons versus Kazakin. Right, let's get started. We'll take a look at the video they showed during the Warhammer Day preview online. And it's really cool to get a look at this so soon after Into the Dark. And here we get to see the brand new Kazakin models. It is a bit of a shame that they were spoiled by the leak a little while back. But there are some models here we didn't see during that leak. So that's great. I'm also really happy to see some new rules coming for the Necrons. Because a lot of people have got Necron models. Want to play them in Kill Team. And the Compendium rules aren't that great for them. So I think this is going to be fantastic. But so cool to get some new Imperial Guard models in the form of the Kazakins. As we expected, the terrain in the set is going to expand on Into the Dark. So it's going to be pretty much the same terrain. There's a few little scatter pieces in there that are going to have some nice gameplay, I imagine. But overall, the terrain and board are looking the same. So it's a good way to combine them together. Certainly if you want to play Warhammer 40k that was covered, but also play some of those bigger games of Kill Team where you can have three to four players. Here's a look at the entire box set, and I've got to say, the box art looks great on this one, one of my favourites. It looks like the Sniper there, which is one of my favourite models to play in any skirmish game. I love Snipers, so really awesome, and I think they've done a great job overall with the whole Kill Team aesthetic. We've got the board, the terrain, the coup two kill teams, we've got a transfer sheet and the Shadow Vaults book, but there won't be a core book in this. This is really exp an expansion of the game. Usually these expansions are new kill zones that they're introducing to Kill Team, but here it's the same kill zone, but there are going to be new elements to it, such as sentry turrets, equipment stashes, and ancient robots. There'll be nine new missions included to take advantage of those new pieces of terrain and those robots, and those missions are going to include lightning raids, covert assaults, and desperate defences. So that sounds pretty interesting, so really looking forward to getting some extra missions. Now it says in the article that if you combine this with the Gallo Dark terrain that we got in the Into the Dark box set, you're going to have enough walls and the two boards to be able to play the board in action games of Warhammer 40k. So it's confirming that there. And that's going to be featured in the Arcs of Omen books. And it's nice actually that this article on the Warhammer community site has confirmed that there will be a number of books for Arcs of Omen. So if you watched the 40k video before, I wasn't sure if there would be a book or lots of books. So it looks like there's going to be plural books. So that's, that's nice to know. Right, let's have a look at the first kill team, the Kazakins, and these Acadia's elite warriors. They were described in the online preview as being as good as a human could possibly get in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. So yeah, these guys are the elite of the elite of the Cadian forces, and they just look fantastic. I mean, you've got all the weapon options. There's going to be tons of variety, special weapons, or they said you could build them all as the regular troopers, who will all have the regular las guns. But it's the long Laz Sniper that I'm looking forward to playing. It just looks awesome. Let's bring him up now and have a close look. And here he is on the left. That's the Sniper. The cloak. He's got the goggles. He's definitely giving me an Eliminator vibe from the Space Marine. So really loving that. I'm going to be completely biased here because I'm a big Imperial Guard fan. So really looking forward to getting hold of these. They're quite similar to the Scions, I guess. The idea of them and their style of play. Um, but I think to have this Kazakin unit, a remastered set that used to come, exist as a metal set, is just brilliant. And the detail on these is just so good. They'll also fit in really nicely with that army set we saw for the Cadians earlier on, if you saw that video. And there's going to be 40k rules for these as well. So if you don't want to just play them in Kill Team, you'll get 40k rules. Next up are their enemies, the Necrons. And these are the Hyrotech Circle. So these are going to be led by one Cryptech. And then he's leading his retinue on the hunt for artifacts within the Gallow Dark. They said in the preview that these aren't new, but some bits are. There's going to be some upgrade kits going on. So you're going to get some different attachments and certainly with some different heads and things like that. 
the death marks you can see here have got some different heads. So the Immortal as well is also based on the existing kit with multi-part options. So a shame it's not completely brand new, um, but oh, I can't complain too much. The Kazakin look great and we're going to get at least some new rules for these Necrons, which is going to be fantastic. I love the addition of the Apprentec especially and it's really funny that the idea they said in the preview again that he's not going to get promoted because the Cryptec just won't die. So really funny, he's just going to be stuck as an apprentice for eternity. I love that idea. Now let's have a look at the new terrain pieces. It says these are currently only available in this set which hints that they're going to be available separately so that's interesting they're interactive so they're going to give you some new dimensions and as i mentioned earlier there'll be new rules for them in the missions you're going to get the heavy bolter sentry turret a bomb a robot crawler with the buzzsaw arm and then lots of equipment for the stash and things like that so i love this scatter terrain's great but when you can actually use it in the game even better and i think having the sentry gun there that's really nice something you could certainly replicate and use and the bomb's going to be great as an objective marker and i'm sure it's tied in as an actual objective in some missions too so really fun little addition and that's going to make up for all the terrain being exactly the same as into the dark so that's an overview of the shadow vault box set and once you get more info i'll certainly be updating here on the channel i'm very excited about this it's a great reveal all day for Astra Militarum fans with the army set, the new models, and now with the Kazakin as well in Kill Team. What a great few months ahead it's going to be. And then we can combine all this to play 40k in a totally different way, which I think is going to be great fun, especially if you play at a club. Having those 500 point combat level armies in this setting is just brilliant. As soon as it's all available, I'll be sharing some Firestorm game links and a big thanks to Firestorm Games for sponsoring the channel and helping me to keep going with these daily videos. I really appreciate their support, but you can still pick up any other hobby products you like. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can save up to 20% on all your game products, paints, not just Warhammer, lots of other games too. You'll also support me here on the channel as I'll get a small commission for every sale made. So if you have a look through that link and buy something, thanks so much in advance. I really appreciate Appreciate your support. The Kadia Army Set and Warhammer 40k New Way to Play videos are both up on the channel already, and I've still got one more to do from the reveal, so look out for that coming very soon today. But I hope you enjoyed this video and you're as excited as I am about getting some expansions for Into the Dark, because it's been a fantastic game so far. So, really cool that there's more on the way soon. And they actually said it will be very soon, so I don't know what that means, because I was expecting it to be December from the roadmap. So, yeah, we'll wait and see. But thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this one, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible, and if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there, and I'll put a link for that in the description down below.